Hello everyone and welcome to Tilo TV. I'm going to be putting out episodes in a documentary type fashion. Uh, basically following everything from 2011 till now. So um, I just wanted to put it together to give everyone kind of a look at what it's like being an independent artist from Ohio. Not just any part of Ohio, but small town Ohio that has really no significant outlets other than just perfecting your craft and hoping other people pick up on it so uh, uh, let's get started check it out So first I'd like to start with uh, 2011. At the end of 2010, um, I finally got equipment of my own to start recording, which was, which was really what I had been working towards for a long time to finally get to making things on my own. Um, because prior to that, I had only been in a studio like five times in in four years something like that so you, the man. process Baby, was man. really Life slow nothing was happening I, got my mind twisted. Uh, All over I knew I was way they behind what, what I should be I gotta get more hype into that but <sighs> the turning point for me was finally getting my own equipment finally getting things moving and What's the forecast? Your last for trying to keep me down. Now watch me soar past. They put me underground, but I'm rising from under that. Now the lightning shines for me, and even the thunder claps. A vicious storm's coming, but I'ma soak in it. Cause music is my savior, and I dove in it. Like Buster Rhymes, my neck broke in it. And I dream like there really is no limit, no gimmicks. Just music for fans' souls. There's a Dr. Dre, so I guess I'll be Dr. Scholes. I had settled on a uh, mixtape title for a while. I wanted to do Mixtape Marauder, which was supposed to showcase lyrical ability and lyrical talent. It turned more into like a... I started putting other types of songs on there. Um, it really didn't showcase what I wanted it to do at the end, which, I mean, it's okay. But also, I was so rusty at recording. I was so... My voice wasn't where I wanted it to be. I mean... It kind of sucked. There was some good songs, but overall it sucked. So, you know, uh, I felt bad, but um, a couple people actually liked it. They liked some of the tracks, but you could tell they liked it because they didn't expect that I could rap. And not that they liked it because it's a good mixtape. They weren't playing it every fucking day, you know what I'm saying? Which is my goal. <laughs> It's all the pain I've been absorbing To you it's unimportant But to me it's the assortment Of all of the shit inside that I have been hoarding This is my endurance It is not a performance This is the monster I got inside of me And it's enormous In my head it's always storming Raining and pouring I'm so disconnected that the man in the mirror Is foreign This is not the beginning but more like a man in his limits In a few short minutes So the highlight of 2011 for me is I sat down and I wrote a song called Take It There, produced by t -Nox. Produced by t -Nox Beats. Um, I got um, my friend Joe. I got my friend Joe on the hook. This is Joe the Phenom, the phenomenal uh, vocalist that I am so blessed to have as my hype man tonight. 
Joey killed it. brings the whole thing together and it sounds good uh, it's also on no surrender which is available for free download so on June 5th 2011 was the young money show at the underground which was my first official show the first time I was actually booked uh, man we had the little Chucky young money show and it's packed as you can see there's a line outside the door. We can't even get in. I'm supposed to perform. Look at that. Fucking sound checks was supposed to be a seven. It's eight forty. Actually eight 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 forty four. <laughs> Let me start talking shit before they never ask me to do nothing again. This motherfucker over there, he been there all day waiting to get in. Since the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> he was here before we got here, bitch. <laughs> I'm ready to drink, bitch. Post it up. I feel like going to the bar. I'll tell you what, at 9 o'clock, if they ain't here, I'm going to bike week. Okay. Get a few shots. I really wasn't ready for it, looking back. Uh, I wasn't prepared at all. It wasn't a good show. Also that summer, I met my homie, um, uh, Tay. Tay, this chicken looks real, real good. Yeah, I'm ready, dude. You know why? Because it's so good, it makes you want to smack your ass. We formed Popular Demand together, and that year we didn't get too much accomplished. Really, we're just trading ideas back and forth, uh, talking about, you know, what music we liked, you know. Uh, we kind of just built a friendship um, before we got into the music side of it. That summer I also made a good friendship with somebody, um, another rapper, Johnny Phenom. Uh, man, that guy can rap. Nah, you're not mine, but you can say there's no gimmick to my design. I decline anything you bring to my face, cause I have to say you get the shit out of my space. I got too much mass, your girl got too much ass, I'm too smart, I got too much class. Yo, and I'm too much past, yet I'm still the future. Nigga, you should get used to, to the shit that I'm doing. No rapping involved, I'm like Goku, I kick the dragon in the balls. Around that time, I also met uh, Dave, Dave O for show, which some of you may or may not know, we formed Unforeseen, you know, so it's the second group I'm in, uh, you know, we did some tracks together. Standing in the middle of nowhere, watching these clouds form, mouth wide open, and I'm waiting for the downpour. Obviously, I ain't had a drinking day, so here I sit and wait for hurricanes and tidal waves, a day in the... And 2011 was dope, for as far as, you know, making connections, meeting people, and getting back into the music, uh, getting more into mixing and engineering. I was getting better with my sound, I was getting better with my craft, I was getting better with my writing. I was learning how to work with people, which is something I really didn't do before, so things were starting to get fun. Things were starting to get to get rolling. Uh, and it was it was it was about time, for real. It was about time. Thoughts. 
2011 all in all was a great year. Uh, it was good, but had no idea it was going to get go the way it went in 2012, let's just say that. I mean, I'm not famous yet, but 2012 felt good.